What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Raised in Baseball YouTube channel. Today we are talking about frost gear. Frost gear. Frost gear. So um, I've been using these for quite a long time now. Um, these, the first year they came out. First year they came out, I remember I got their first thing of batting gloves. It was really freezing here. Like it was, it was really cold. Got them and uh, they were no different than your regular like winter like snow glove. Like you have. They were bulky. They're literally like the ones that are made out of. What, what is it? What's even inside? They, they keep your hand really warm and they're poofy. Like they're really poofy. They're the ones you throw snowballs with. Poofy. So now they've brought them down to. I mean, they're slightly, slightly thicker than your regular batting glove, but they keep your hands just as warm, if not warmer, with it's still being able to grip your bat and keep your hands warm. So these have been coming in really clutch for me in, uh, for school ball because we practice from like 6.30 until um, 6.30. It's mainly 7 until like 9.30. Depends that's, on when you get there. That's when we practice for the most part. So it's we had practice one time. It was 23 degrees, and that's what the cutoff is. So it was like 23, 24, and we just were out there practicing. And when you have to hit on the field or in the cages and it's – 23 degrees um if you haven't hit when it's that cold it's very hard <laughs> to hold your bat so i'm over there like without those for like the first week and i'm trying to grip my bat and i'm like holding it and my hands are like shaking i'm hit the ball get stung like hit it on the inside of my barrel and i just can't can't feel anything and then you got to go throw so these are uh, these are their batting gloves they make a throwing glove which my dad has down there which is it's clutch. It's really clutch. So. I think these these ones are cool because, like you said, like the first every year it seems like frost gear getting better. is pushing something new, and it's not just a a redesign. Meaning we're going to change the pattern. We're changing. They the change colors. like their technology inside to make it better. Like always not, something different. It's not just like changing. Hey, we're going to change this material on the back. No, they're changing like almost like not everything but i'm saying they change they're upgrading a lot they of change stuff. a lot of stuff so, so. what is cool is, and, and if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you know i'm a big fan of stitching right there's so many times where you're just like dude come on come on throw another layer of stitching in there and you won't have these type of problems you won't have these type of blowouts i can count ooh, one two three four rows of stitching it looks like they use a serger through this area and it has a thick ribbon basically the width of my finger through here which is the connector between the wrist piece and the body of the glove, which I love because you want to know how everybody always puts on their gloves. They put their glove on and then they hammer down here or they hammer down here and that's where they rip. So the fact that they took the time to really reinforce this area is great. This is at least double stitched, if not triple stitched, which is the tab that you uh, go onto the wrist. Features a silicone patch on the wrist, so easy grip it's tacky on that. And then again, a real flexible, pliable silicone patch for frost gear. I think the last ones were either, not the last ones, but the first ones were uh, either embroidered on or they were um, they were like a silk screen. Yeah. So big improvement in the silicone patch. The grip has gotten a lot better. It's like textured now. So before it was just kind of one solid, like one solid piece of leather. Now it's textured. So um, lots of improvements coming for their batting gloves. That's where they've, that's where I've seen the most improvement, to be honest with you. How many of your guys, how many of your guys, uh, I had five guys ask me where they, like where I got these. And then another five asked like if they could buy it off me. So when it's cold, you know, the worst things to get cold are your face, your hands and your feet. So if you can protect your hands with, you know, some, not uh, you can protect your hands with some some batting gloves that you can still you know hit with and feel good about hitting like not just get by but actually be able to whack some baseballs it's it's a really good thing to have because even the regular guys were having problems with batting gloves they were using regular batting gloves right regular batting gloves and people would be like well so if I can block the wind it's going to be better and they'd put them on and their batting gloves have been in their cold car and it's just their hands were freezing even more now so and a lot of times you know you sweat so they sweat you leave them in your bag in the cold car. Um, and then that sweat gets really cold, wet, and you put them on the next day and your hands are already freezing. How many guys were screaming when they were hit the... hit the? We had a kid, here I'll tell you a quick story. We had a kid, he uh, hit a ball off the off the handle, took it, like slammed his bat on the ground, like was like, oh my gosh, picked his bat up, hit another one, right off the handle, threw his bat in the air. He's like, I'm done, I'm done with baseball. And he walked out and then our coach walked by and he goes, 
hey, it's not that big of a deal. Just get in there, hit the ball. And uh, he's like, watch. And he got in there, picked up the bat, first swing, whack, right off the handle, and he <laughs> threw it up and walked out of the cage. I'm so out. I'm it's, out. Uh, so. it, gets, it gets pretty cold, so it's a good thing to have some. Uh, you guys in the north. Yeah, I'm sure they're very familiar with these. You guys still have a long time of cold weather. Frost gear is an answer for being able to train and not come and not be miserable, right? Yeah. You can that's like what I said, you can get by with just poofy poofy gloves or your batting gloves, but these these make it not enjoyable, but they make it more enjoyable to uh It's not miserable, I'll tell you that. And when it's cold, you're miserable. Yeah. And these do a great job of keeping the hams the on the warmer side of things. So it's a, it's a good bounce. Now the throwing the next glove, thing, this is the biggest thing, the biggest thing. So the time where it was really cold is my tryouts. So it was 23 degrees for tryouts, and we're trying to throw baseballs. I played third base during that time. You're trying to throw baseballs across the diamond with, like, cold hands. You can't even feel where you have the ball. So these things, this is their throwing glove. Um, this also has a few improvements since the last time I've used one of them. Uh, the biggest thing is they've added um, some slits here so you can, like, bend your fingers better when you have it in there instead of, like, having to go around, you can just bend them normally. Um, the material that they're using is a little bit different than when we first got them, and they have these little slits in there too to get some texture on the ball, get your spin there. Um, they've also added a little little side piece, like a side um, side part of that grip on the sides. How many times can I say side in a sentence? But uh, the, the it, it's thing, just, it makes it easier to grip the ball. So on the, on the two fingers, mm -hmm. right? I have, I have one that has, uh, they had it at a trade show. And it has four. All four of these fingers have grip on them. So um, that's in the back of your car right now. But yeah. I do have one that has four. So yeah, it's got the. Uh, it almost feels like you know, guys know like the football gloves where it's cutter, uh, cutter gloves, um, receiver gloves where they're sticky. That's kind of the same the, material. The feel. They of, just have little slits cut out so you can. So you got that material here, here. So you're throwing hands, throwing fingers, a little bit right there, and then on the thumb to get underneath. So same material it looks like uh, as the batting gloves. Yeah. So in the in the palm. And then uh, neoprene it's not, top. It's not going to make it perfect for throwing. I mean, it's not going to be the same as just your hand, but um, it's. Guess what? It's better than having a freezing cold burning hand. Yeah. So, where you got no it's idea. Funny, I said burning, but that's literally what it is. Like it's everybody thinks it's just cold, but I mean that. I had it one time where I finished practice without one of those. Didn't have my batting gloves on at all. I was thrown across the diamond. I got into my friend's car, and his car was like 80 degrees inside. I sat there with my hands on the heater for the five and a half minute bus ride, or like drive back to the school, and then we sat in the car for 10 minutes trying to warm up our hands. So, so frost gear, batting it. gloves, throwing, throwing glove. glove. You can see how thin they are. And the price point on the batting gloves? The batting gloves are $40. And then the throwing glove is thirty dollars, and I think it's well, well worth it, especially if you're getting a full, full winter season, or maybe even two if your hands don't grow that big. So. And, and think about this too, is right? Is we're in the south. We don't got to deal with it for that long. But we you, don't have to deal with it for that long. It's typically in the mornings, and it's for a short period. Uh, usually, what October, November. It's mainly like through December through February. February ish. That's it. So. Just keep them for next year and you're good to go. Uh, you guys in the north, I grew up in Washington State, y'all are in for a little bit longer, right? You guys have colder weather uh, a lot longer than we do in the south, but very, very usable in the south. Uh, something that I would definitely keep in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if They're you're solid. in the north, you gotta get them. You gotta get them. So nobody else that I know of makes this type of, of gear that specializes in keeping your hands warm during the season, so mm -hmm. they offer uh, a balaclava. They offer they have a, a ton of stuff. A hat on to keep the ears and the lid hot. Hat, they got a uh, lid beanie. Hot. They got everything, guys. They've got so. uh, compression pants, compression shirt. You can go check it out. FGBaseball.com. FG, and they have it's FGBaseball. FG Baseball. Dot com. And then they also have um, a ton of other stuff for like softball, whatever. So that is, you just go to frostgear.com. That's where they have everything. And then FG Baseball is the baseball specific stuff. So. Yeah. Check them out. Frostgear. Frostgear.